That means good things. Well, we'll start shooting sooner than later, but it's nice tonight to be done with the first season of The Voice. It was a great first year. I'm happy for Javier Colon. And we're already ready to like get back to it. I think season two could be even bigger and better. Did you have any idea that it would be Javier? It seemed kind of I did just before I, I opened it. In fact, right, I, I, there's, the envelopes are kind of weird, and this thing like comes out of the envelope, but I couldn't like get it out. So I, I had this quick vision of me, I say, of me like, and the winner is. Like Jim Carrey moment, like, all right, hold on, everybody. Let's tear this thing open. So I just kind of got my wits about me, but I knew the winner just before. And so what are you hoping comes with season two? How do you hope it grows or changes? I hope more people who watch this season in the country go to their local audition, and I hope that they understand that this is a place that is artist-friendly, and that you're coming to a place that wants to help you, not tell you you suck, you'll never make it, and you'll have a great experience with our producers on The Voice at any level, local audition or if you make it to the end. And will you be making any trips to the tour? Making I hope so. At least I think so. You've worked with so many of these artists for so many years. Was there anyone that surprised you the most as a coach? Yeah. It's a good question. The, the, the chemistry between all of them surprised me because I've known them all, but they all didn't really know each other. But the greatest thing that happened, uh, happened is they all went and got drunk. <laughs> Honestly, before we started shooting, and they had like this great bonding moment that Mark Burnett paid for, it. and they really kind of connected. And we had an early meeting where everybody said, "Listen, none of us watch these shows. None of us really need to be doing this. So let's go make a good TV show that really cares about you know aspiring artists." Are you surprised at the success of the show? Because I think some people are thinking like we need another singing. I was, yeah. Voice ended up having it. I think it would have a totally different audience. I think so. I was surprised because America seems to be enamored by um, rubbernecking moments on TV. And I, I just didn't, this show's not that. You know? We're not highbrow, but we're not making fun of people, and we're not slapstick, and we're not, you know, we're not like Gary Busey, Desperate Housewives. We're just not that. We're like a show that's really trying to help out some unknown talent. And America really just got into that. Are you ready to stick with this for as long as it lasts? Yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, yeah. Are you nuts? It's the best show on TV, man. What changes can we